Senior day is always a special day at Kinnick Stadium, and it was no different Saturday as the Hawkeyes and Gophers prepared to go to battle over a bronze peg known as Floyd of Rosedale. Also on the line for the Hawks was a winning season and a possible bowl bid. As they had last week against Northwestern, the Hawkeyes got off to a quick start, led by quarterback Kyle McCann to tight end Dallas Clark. Go for the flea flicker right off the bat. McCann over the middle, caught by Dallas Clark at the 42-yard line. Straight back to pass is Kyle. The protection is very good. Wings it over the middle. It is caught by Dallas Clark. The Hawkeyes have a first down. He's still on his feet. McCann finished the drive off, and Iowa had the early lead. They run that way. Nope. Fake. McCann rolls up. He's wide open. He can go in himself. He gets to the three goal line. Touchdown, Iowa. On the naked bootleg, Kyle McCann. After the Iowa defense stopped the Gophers cold on the next series, McCann and the offense kept the pedal to the metal, driving over and around Minnesota for another score. McCann back to pass on first and 10. Wings it up the sideline. He's got Hill open at the 30. Caught 25-yard line. Out of bounds. First and 10, Iowa. That's big hole up the middle. 20, 15, 10. He's got one blocker in front of him. Five, three-yard line. First and goal, Hawkeyes. The handoff. Play action fake to Betts. Into the end zone. There's Jeremy Allen. Caught. Touchdown, Iowa. The fired-up Hawkeyes led 14-0 in lightning quick fashion. And Minnesota looked to squelch that Iowa momentum. Aaron Campman, though, put a quick end to any such thoughts on the very next series. 48 is Kalik. Hawks put a good rush on. Down he goes. The Gophers right punted away, and the Big Ten's best returner took over from there. Campman's numbers. Here's the punt. Khalil right up the middle. 20, 25, 30. Still going. 35, 40. Puts it to the near sideline. Now back to the middle. 50, 45 of Minnesota. Khalil Hill does it again. With Brad Banks now at the throttle of the offense, the Hawkeyes hardly missed a beat on their way to another score. Bruce Nelson at center. Here's the give to Jeremy Allen. He's in. Touchdown, Iowa. Allen's second touchdown of the game gave the Hawks a commanding 21-0 lead, much to the delight of a delirious Hawkeye crowd of over 65,000. After Minnesota notched a field goal, Banks and the offense again went to work with great results. Has a man caught. 25-24 yard line. Hill and Oliver are out to the left. Here comes Banks running right side over the five goal line. Touchdown, Iowa. 27 to 3 Hawks. 413. Liddell Betts on his way to over 170 yards rushing. Helped increase the lead to 28-3 by halftime. In the third quarter, the Gophers put together a 10-play 80-yard touchdown drive, but Iowa seemed unaffected as their white hot offense went right back to work. Second down and four after a gain of six by Liddell. He sweeps the left side, has the first down. He's at midfield. He's at the 45 of Minnesota. First and 10 at the Golden Gopher 30-43-yard uh, line. Khalil Hills at the top of the field. McCann looks left. Quick hitter to tight end Dallas Clark. He's at the 10. Drags a tackler into the end zone. Touchdown, Iowa! Dallas Clark does it again. Another big play. And McCann... The Hawkeye lead was an insurmountable 35-10. Iowa once again went to work through the air, and Dallas Clark's catch and run typify the effort put forth by the entire Hawkeye team. He's at midfield, 40, 35-yard line. Look at him carry tacklers. Three gophers still going, 20-yard line. Bulldozer, Dallas Clark. Khalil Hill's diving catch polished off the drive for another Hawkeye touchdown, and it was a whopping 42-10 advantage. A couple of late gopher touchdowns did little to damper Iowa's second consecutive Big Ten blowout, 42-24 over the Gophers.